A man considered armed and dangerous is now in custody after a standoff in a Grants Pass neighborhood. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Craig Smoller. And I'm Kristen Hosfeld. The standoff started just after noon today, bringing out the SWAT team and several law enforcement officers. NBC 5's Elizabeth Ruiz was there. She's live in Grants Pass with tonight's top story at 6. Kristen Craig, just hours ago, police, the SWAT team, and Josephine County Sheriff's deputies were involved in a standoff at a home in a rural area just up this road. It all started yesterday when the Sheriff's Department got a call about a disturbance. Witnesses reported seeing Caleb Pratt armed with a machete driving away with a female inside his truck. Police chased Pratt but lost him as he started going through school zones. Today, though, there was another disturbance call. This time it was at home here off Foothill Boulevard, which happens to be the same home where the suspect lives. Not knowing whether he was armed, all agencies came together to get Pratt out. Deputy Chief Jim Hamilton says it took a little while, but he eventually came out unarmed. Now detectives are conducting interviews to figure out which charges should be filed. It's kind of a complicated one because it rolls into two days and it uh, it has a couple of different incidents and locations. So we're going to have to determine what we have for charges and then we'll also be working in cooperation with the sheriff's office because this was technically their call initially that got us out here. Pratt is currently in custody along with the female who was with him. It's unknown whether the female was a victim or not. If she is, police say she will get the help she needs. Police do believe she's the same woman seen with Pratt yesterday. Detectives have remained at the house, continuing to get more evidence and information. Stay with NBC5 News for more updates as they become available. Live in Grants Pass, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.